pandemic began, we've been learning more and more about long COVID and over 50 symptoms have been described. Uh, the most common being fatigue, loss of concentration or what they call brain fog, headaches, shortness of breath, and even symptoms like hair loss, ringing in the ears, uh, chest and stomach pain, a feeling of your heart beating faster, and mood changes, uh, even feelings of anxiety and depression have been described. So studies have suggested that one in 10 people who are diagnosed with coronavirus may go on to develop long COVID. Now in South Africa, we estimate that about 60% of our population have had the virus. And so that would mean close to 4 million people are likely to suffer long COVID. Now our studies show that the people that are most likely to have long COVID are older people, particularly 40 to 64 years old, females, those with medical conditions like diabetes, asthma, and who are overweight. People with mild sickness may develop long COVID, but our study has shown that uh, people with more than four symptoms when they have acute COVID infection are more likely to have long COVID. And people who are admitted in hospital and were treated in ICU are also more likely to go on to develop long COVID. So long COVID impacts people's lives in many ways. It affects their health, their relationships, their social function, and their work life. Our studies are showing that the patients report that they are unable to cope with activities of daily living. They are unable to manage stress and anxiety. They're unable to even do uh, activities of self-care. A patient who reports uh, having brain fog and fatigue may not cope at work and they may struggle to return to work. In our study, quite a large number of people have said that they were unable to return to work after COVID or that they had to change jobs or they had to return to work with reduced uh, function. Now, as you can see, this will have a huge financial impact on individuals, on homes, and even on society. I think we haven't had enough time yet to follow up patients to look at how long it takes for long COVID to resolve, but studies are showing that over time, people with long COVID symptoms do have some improvement. Uh, in our study, when we followed people up uh, one month after hospital discharge, 82% reported that they had persistent symptoms. When we interviewed them three months later, 64% had persistent symptoms. So that's encouraging that more people had recovered after some time, but 64% of people after discharge still having symptoms at three months is quite a lot. Interestingly, also studies are showing that people who've had the COVID vaccine do report improvements in their long COVID symptoms as well. So most people uh, who have long COVID will have mild symptoms and what they need is reassurance. They need to know that they're not alone. They need to know that this is real. They need to have support groups and we need to be able to provide them with some information and some advice on how they can slowly return to a normal activity. Some people may have symptoms that trouble them a little more and they may need to go into a GP because we must not rush to a diagnosis of long COVID. We must first make sure that there isn't some other more serious condition that's causing their symptoms. And then there are patients who may need a more urgent referral to a specialist. We don't have many long COVID clinics in South Africa. Patients who have long COVID and who have severe symptoms will need a multidisciplinary team. They may need specialists, a mental health experts, social workers, physiotherapists, occupational therapists. Some of them may need home oxygen for prolonged periods of time. And so it's important that patients with long COVID understand when these symptoms are severe enough to need to be referred to specialist care. There are some general advice that we would give to people with long COVID. If you have fatigue, we suggest that you have a gradual return to normal activities, do a plan for the day and look at the times when you most have most energy and plan your day around that. If you had problems sleeping, we suggest you having a regular routine for sleeping and to avoid stimulants like caffeine and screen time. If you have pain, usually over the counter, mild pain painkillers should help, but if you need something more serious, then you can visit a GP to get something else. People who have anxiety or depression should get some counseling, they could join support groups, and if needed, they could get a 
psychiatric referral as well. Patients who have shortness of breath can do breathing exercises and if necessary can be referred to a physiotherapist as well. Another important benefit of the COVID-19 vaccine that is starting to be reported in studies is that it improves long COVID symptoms. So a person who has had the coronavirus then went on to develop long COVID and has persisting symptoms for many months. When they receive the COVID-19 vaccine, many have reported that the long COVID was resolved thereafter.